We are happy to have this event. This is uh, the third one that we have. There's uh, 50, 60 uh, company in, in Montreal, Quebec, uh, in, in VR business. We're trying to find out if it's going to be bigger and there's no standard, you know, in VR. Each month we find out about something new. I think in Montreal you have something in particular that the creativity, I think that's the ingredients that really push everybody to and have a little bit of, of more VR. Uh, Drone Vault is actually a company that is uh, in seven countries in the world. Uh, we got the Janus drone that's over here that uh, has been built especially for virtual reality. VR is actually pretty new into the drone business. Uh, we built a Janus drone that is actually available uh, everywhere in the world. We do a lot of VR content for construction application. So people, are, they want to buy a condo, they want to see exactly what the condo is going to look like. So even if the building doesn't exist, you're going to be able to see what you're going to see on the 14th floor at 7 o'clock at night. VR is definitely growing, but it's not really mainstream as it is for the rest of the drone business. What we want uh, to produce is immersive project. We shoot the Norton Lightning, we shoot uh, with the Montreal Symphonic Orchestra and it's the reason why we develop uh, our application. Uh, it's named uh, Sync, uh, Sync VR that uh, we can manage one uh, gear like you, you saw and we can manage uh, up to uh, 40 uh, gear at the same time so we can have an experience with up to 40 people and all the people will uh, live the experience in the same time. Uh, I would tell you that VR is part of our offering since uh, late 2014. Our CEO went to the Google I.O. where uh, he came back with the Google Cardboard and we put our phones in there and we said okay now we're ready, now we've got five billion people across the world with cell phones, now we can start creating for the people. One thing that we find is the weakness of our industry is that content is scattered. There's no place to find all of the content of the world in one place. So very exclusively for, for your audience at uh, VRworld.com, very, very happy to, to be able to announce that uh, by the end of this year, by the end of 2017, 360 VR app will be available on all platforms. Um, very humbly, our goal is to be the Netflix of VR, to be the one place where you can find all quality curated content. Well, we do a suit of uh, virtual reality media player uh, that enables media pu companies like publishers and broadcasters to distribute uh, VR content from their existing ecosystem. Uh, they don't have to rebuild a whole new app. They can integrate that feature into the existing app that they have. The idea is really to make the content accessible no matter what platform or what, what hardware the user acquires. It was actually a, an open source project. We had uh, Stefan and myself in his basement where we created the very first VR player for Android and it got a lot of traction, a lot of downloads. And we were receiving some checks from the Google Play Store so we decided to open a company to use that <laughs> and that's where it started we see it the same way you know the, the TV was a revolution to radio and we see that medium being a revolution to TV we definitely hope our, our place in that in that new uh, paradigm will be will be um, profitable and interesting for us uh, we are specialized in creating real-time 3d environments uh, with uh, interactive touch screens uh, but uh, our applications can also be deployed on any platform VR AR we work with hololenses so we work in different domains. In our vision, you know, uh, virtual reality is a lonely experience. It's really nice, but some people get dizzy with it. Uh, so for us, it's a subcategory of what we offer. So people come to us because they need real-time 3D interfaces to display either their products, their environments, their buildings, their interiors. Uh, we work with HoloLenses, so um, let's say the, the, the manager of a facility can walk in his building and see the real-time data of its devices. Our framework is based in the Unity 3D, which is a really common software uh, basis to do uh, real-time 3D environments. But we have developed within this our own uh, framework, which has enabled us to create our own visual assets in a faster way.